So there's a lot to learn from Balak. You know, it's so easy for us to, to take the glory, to, to seek our own, um, I guess, uh, fame, not even fame, even our own, uh, um, like we want to be recognized for who we are and what we do. Some don't want to be recognized at all. Some are the opposite. But um, it's, you know, I, I've heard people, uh, I heard some one person say, you know, I've, I've given up all drinking and I've given up this and I've given up that because he wants to please God. And God never asked him to give any of it up. Sometimes we decide what we're going to do to please God. And it's almost like appeasing the gods. It was so beautiful what he said in Micah. What does God require from us? To love justice. To act with mercy. How often do we want to, hurt, we want to uh, get even with somebody else for what they've done? But he, he's merciful with us and to act in mercy to others and to walk humbly with our God. And it's not by saying, uh, by trying to be humble. It's recognizing that we have been humbled because of the, the actions that we've done in our lives. So it's, it's really a, a beautiful parasha. Thank you, Yanet. Thank you. Alejandro, can you can you uh, think of something that's come to your your mind from Balak, because you're one of our teachers, as you were reading the portion. I can't hear you. I love it, uh, you need to put the microphone near your mouth, because now it's very far. Yeah, I, that's better. Okay, uh, I love it. Your uh, comparison that you made. Uh, the three persons, personages in the in the uh, in the story, Balam, Bilak, and uh, Amalek. Yes. Because uh, it's true, it's uh, the the situation from Israel. And I would just want to add uh, something. Is is in the parasha, the Matovu, about the Matovu. That right. We 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 say every Shabbat. Is in the in the in the portion the, this week, and the, this portion say that that um, uh, how how lovely are your tents, Jacob, and your uh, dwelling places, O Israel. Dwelling place, Israel, and <clears throat> so I I heard about about that when Rabbi say that how um, they they say. Uh, how are your uh, lovely uh, your um, okay. uh, your tents, Jacob? But for Israel, say only your uh, dwelling places, Israel. It's not it's not uh, like Lot, it's the other one that say lovely. And the he he teach that the uh, there is two two kinds of. Um, dwellings there that the the, the tents are the uh, temporary uh, habitat and the, the 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 houses of israel are the permanent tempor uh, oh. habitats mm -hmm. and how uh, they took the 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 temporary more it's like uh, the give more importance that the the jacob is, is, is are temporary so the times we say that no, the, the permanence are uh, more important, but it's not the importance. But it's uh, to teach us that uh, mm -hmm. uh, when we end in the in the in our bodies, in our temporaries, we can uh, be connected uh, with God because uh, is is uh, is uh, by this body or by this life uh, per uh, imperfect and perfectly. Uh, life that we ca we connect with God. Beautiful. Is that the importance? Do you want to explain that in Spanish to Sarai? Okay. Uh, Hold the uh, microphone closer to your mouth. It's hard to hear you. Ah, okay. Um, Sarai estaba diciendo que hay una enseñanza muy bonita en en la porción de esta semana 
que es la acerca de Matubu, es, es una canción, que una plegaria que cantamos todos los sábados, Matabu, y está en la porción de esta semana. Entonces un rabino estaba enseñando que eh, eso es, eh, eh, ahí dice, cuán, cuán, cuán amables eh, oh, eh, son tus moradas, Jacob, tus, 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 tie, eh, tus mm, moradas o oh, Israel. Entonces, cuando habla de Jacob, da como una... Eh, da un adjetivo que es amables o algo que, se, que son ama, a, amadas, mientras que cuando habla de acerca de las de la moradas de Israel no dice, no, no da un adjetivo. Entonces es como si le diera más importancia a las, a las, a las uh, moradas de las, 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 per, las temporarias, que son, son tiendas, las temporales, que son las tiendas de Jacob cuando estaba en el desierto. ¿Por qué? Porque es a través del cuerpo que son son moradas temporales que nosotros este, podemos eh, ver a través de la imperfección, podemos conectarnos con Dios. Beautiful. And the other thing is, Jacob represents those who are born the natural branches, who are born from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And when it says Israel, it includes all those who have joined into Israel, like Rabbi used to say, the commonwealth of Israel. So it includes both the, the natural-born children and those who came afterwards, like Caleb, like um, Ruth, like Sarai, like Alejandro, and all those who joined with Israel, because um, Rabbi used to say, We are not, Israel is not a race. I know uh, a while ago there's a program called The View on television. I never watch it, but it's these women who, who speak, and one of the women on it was Whoopi Goldberg. And she said that Israel is not a race. And every, everyone took it as meaning she was racist, anti-Semitic, and it has nothing to do with that. Israel is not a race. Israel is a call a calling. God chooses those who belong to him. And that's that I see that way as well. But it's, it's beautiful about uh, the prophet uh, of God, that God can choose any of us to be his prophet, whether Jew or Gentile. But we always need to speak what he wants us to speak and follow what he wants us to follow. Miriam, do you have anything to yeah, add? I'm just going to unmute <clears throat> a couple of things. Oh, first of all, um, okay, let me just, you can see my allergies better now. Okay. <laughs> um, it's so easy when I've always read that passage in the past with about Bala, Balaam and Bala. I always got confused because it looked like, what's so wrong with what he did? He's following God. He's praying to God. It, it, it's, it's. It always, I always, it always confused me, and I guess it's interesting. It's obvious to see when people are obviously disobeying God. They're murdering. They're, it's not just no problem to to talk about Hitler and Stalin, and, and but what about things that are are evil but are much more subtle or or much more you just don't see it. Not necessarily evil, just disobedient. Yeah, more disobedience. That's exact, which is a form of you. Yes, I see what you mean. But yeah. disobedience doesn't have to always be so in your face, so blatant, you know. And so I remember reading that so many times, many years. I said, I, I don't get it. What did he do wrong? He was a prophet. He, he listened to God and he, you know, uh, uh, so it, it's it's really. Uh, well, really God, helpful. God told him, don't go. And then and, and so he, and he went to to Balak and he said, I can't go. But then he was tempted. And then he goes, oh, well, maybe I'll just go and see. Look how many sacrifices. Three times he sacrificed to God yeah. to, to have God change his mind. It brings us to ourselves. You know, when you see blatant disobedience, you say, well, I, I haven't done that. But this brings us to ourselves. How many times have, you know, I done things like that? I'm so disobedient, but I kind of, manipulate that I say, well, I did it because of this and whatever. But and it's not only manipulating God. Sometimes we try to manipulate each other. 
we give someone a compliment because oh, we want to try to get them to do something that we want. It's, yeah, it's, it's very subtle. and it It's very subtle. Brings it back, I, back, I back bad compliments. What, Brian? Bad compliments from that lady here. Yes. So we have to be very careful. It's very, you know, walking with God is not easy. It's like the leaders, all these dictators who, who start to become so, they believe they're gods. They're, they're, they're enamored with their own power. Look how many in, that are destroying our world. In Venezuela, we have a leader who is totally doesn't care about the people. He's become a dictator. We have a leader in Canada now who's a dictator. I don't know what the government is like in Mexico, but I don't know if they put the people first. You know, very few leaders actually serve the people. And they have their spokesmen today. They're called politicians. You know, all these politicians and government who serve themselves more than the people. We're living again in these times that are, that are dangerous. And, but it's also very hard for us. Miriam, can I see your face? Because I really like to speak to, to see you, even no, if you I have know, allergies. But it's, it's, but I'm always scra scratching my eyes. I don't care. I, I like to see care. you. It, scratch, see jump, I do whatever. When I talk, I'll, I'll <laughs> show you. Don't scratch your tukas. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Thank you. We're recording that. <laughs> How many people know what a tukas is? I, I, I leave it. What makes trouble to me? I leave it to God to take the vengeance. Exactly. Good for you. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. How often do we want to take vengeance on somebody? But I wanted to say something. What did you say to, to Alejandro? One, uh, uh, and, I, and I said, oh, uh, I can't remember what it was. And I wanted to... When, last night or today? No, just now, just a few minutes ago. He said two things. Oy. Rewind. Yeah. And I, I, anyway, I'll, it will come to me. I yeah, we have to make notes when we speak. About temporary... Uh... Tremblay Dwellings, Jacob, no puedo escuchar. We can't hear you because of the. Now, okay. Yeah. About the uh, temporary uh, dwellings and permanent dwellings. That? Okay. About uh, Jacob and Israel? Matovu. Maybe was it Matovu? Uh, about being, about huh? being called or Israel's not a race or. I forget. Or, 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 uh, what the Peggy uh, spoke oh, about. Oh, I, uh, I know something about racism with, with Whoopi Goldberg. Right. Like, oh, uh, why did they think she was racist? What did she say? That, that, that she I simply can't... said, uh, I don't know the whole context. I don't remember now. But she said uh, that uh, uh, being Jewish is not a race. But she's right. But she's right. And everybody was in, up in arms. They, they threw her out of the program for a couple of weeks until That's they took disgusting. her back. That's yeah. I feel like writing to her. <laughs> yeah. But I mean. No, but a lot of people think that they're Chinese Jews. They're, there are Ethiopian black Jews. Exactly. How could it be a race? Exactly. But, uh, right. and, and the, the, you know, the sad thing is that we as Israel, um, we want to be like the other nations. How many people, my father used to say, um, you know, I don't want, I'm a Jew, but let them choose, let God choose. I don't even know if he used the words, let them, let them choose somebody else for a change. Because it's a responsibility to be from Israel, to be I a Jew. I think you probably meant, you know, because we're always being... Uh, we're being persecuted. Persecuted. I yeah. don't know if he was, anyway... Because, you know, who wants to be persecuted? But how many people, how many rabbis even talk about what we've chosen to be? Because he didn't, wasn't really understanding that. Exactly. He thinks, no. oh, we're chosen to be massacred. No, we're chosen to be a light to the world, which is an honor and a glory. And, and but we've, people... we have lost that. And how many yeah. people want to, they want to convert to Judaism because they think, oh, the, you know, the Jews are all rich. And they, they help each other and they have, you know, community and they want to be part of the Jewish people without understanding that 
Jews have lost their calling today. Mm-hmm. Are, we are called to something higher, you know, to, to be a light to all the nations. And it's almost made a joke of when, when Jewish people say, choose somebody else. I don't mean to be put anybody down, but they're not thinking of what we're chosen. They're thinking of the persecution. We weren't chosen to be persecuted. We were chosen to be a light to the nations. And yes, the consequence, but I mean, you know, it's an honorable choosing. So when people joke and say, oh, we'll choose somebody else, they're talking about, you know, persecute somebody else. But how many people, how many rabbis talk about what our, our real cho- uh, calling is? The chosen people. And, and, and sometimes we're persecuted because, you know, why are you chosen? What does that mean? It's not chosen because of anything about us. We are set apart just as if you were chosen to be an, an ambassador to a country. To deliver I was just going to say that. It's, it's no different. So exactly, like yeah. if you're if you're the ambassador for the president of the United States, and you go to another country who hate the United States, they're going to treat the ambassador very badly. Right. And but the ambassador only is the representative of, and it's the same thing with us. Our nation, Israel, was called to be ambassadors between God and the world. We were a, to be a kingdom of priests. And what is a priest? A priest is a servant. But yeah. everything has been, all the meanings have been turned upside down. Right. So anyway, it's we're, we're a small group today. Eti, do you have anything yet you'd like to say? Any thoughts? One day I know you're going to say something. You're a smart young woman. But I don't know why you don't want to say anything. Maybe, maybe language. Maybe you're shy. What's well, a language but thing? But the the best thing also is if you know something comes to you when you're hearing the message, make a little note, and then you can bring it to all of us. And even if you want to speak in French, we'll translate it. It's not a problem. I know it's very difficult in a conversation when English is not your first language. Like I, I really give honor to Sarai and to Priscilla who sit here every week and they don't understand a word of English. <laughs> no entiende nada en inglés, pero es, uh, you are fidel. You're here and that's a blessing. I pray that God will give you the gift of languages so that you'll be able to understand. It's hard to speak. Uh, I know it's for a long time it was hard for me to talk uh, on the computer you know it's it's a bit uh i find it very difficult you know i listened to rabbi's message several times during the week i listened again this morning and he always had a few notes but he would just speak he had it in his head and he had just allowed the words to flow i don't have that gift i have to read it because i'll lose my train of thought i'll go i won't be able to But it's not the same. Like sometimes I'm reading it, I'm getting very nervous as I'm reading it because I don't want to sound like I'm reading a message. You, I I listen to actually President Trump. And President Trump always just spoke from his heart. He never read from the monitor like all the others had prepared speeches. He didn't. And that's why sometimes he would repeat things or he would sound bombastic or whatever it was. But I have to give people credit who can learn how to speak like that. It's not an easy thing to do. And and also here, when we're not together, it's it's also not not easy. But we do our best with, with what we've been given with the times. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for attending our Shabbat service. Um, Mauricio is usually the one to, who speaks a lot, so it brings us. <laughs> but he's away today. Angel also is... Uh, he has a cold. He's not feeling well. And Rhonda, do you want to say anything about how things are going there at your place? How do going you feel? Going very slowly. Very slowly. Yeah. You need some help maybe to come put up some pictures. We can come and no, do that. No, not yet because we're still doing work. Yeah. Dog. How is the dog? He wants, Brian wants to know how is your dog. Oh, the dog's doing fine. She's okay. Where is She's she getting now? She's downstairs in her cage. Okay. Yeah, is her hair changing at all? Is it uh, getting curly? It's getting lighter. It's way oh, getting, getting lighter. Yeah, oh, more like the uh, golden retriever part. 
I don't think she's going to have the poodle hair because she's got too much retriever and too much um, Australian sheepdog. Oh, okay. But she's turning blonder. Yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> That's great. Will you tell yeah. her to She's still having to learn to do that. Well, is, oh, you can treat with food or you can treat without food? Whenever we try and teach her something, we usually try and treat her. With a food? Yeah. We had <laughs> treats that we give to her. That's good. Is she biting less, Rhonda? No. <laughs> but we got a spray yesterday we got a spray and whenever she starts biting us we spray it and she doesn't like it so she'll stop oh Don't good you? that's smart <laughs> but we have to keep spraying every time she bites us uh oh and the yeah. thing is like what miriam was saying because she's a sheep dog she's a it's natural to bite her to, yeah to, to nip it's normal yeah. in her so she has to learn not to do she's that trying to hurt you rhonda yeah, she's trying to herd you. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. With all the the scars that I have on me. Oh I my goodness! Know. Wow. Her, uh, when her mouth is closed, grab her mouth and tell her, "Don't bite." Don't yeah. Don't well, bite. she doesn't speak English, Brian. She speaks <laughs> dog. I have a dog that, uh, that's raised in English. When you tell her, "Don't," and you and you grab her mouth, to keep it shut. Like putting on a for so she shouldn't bite somebody. When you're holding the the mouth closed, you tell her if you don't want the, the, me to do this. When I say don't bite, don't bite. And she she, and she she relaxes, then she's understanding you. Yeah. You well, maybe you'll maybe you'll life. have a chance to go over and see the dog one day, when you're when you're doing well. Etienne, comment va ton père? She's on it. Okay. Il va bien. Mais euh, il parle mieux, mais il est encore confus un peu. OK. Ouais. He's, he's a little confused, and but he's doing better. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, we went to visit Dorothy in the hospital this week. And um, Dorothy is, oh. is, her mind is there. She understands everything, but she cannot focus. Her head is always to the right. And um, she can't walk. She can't stand on her own. Um, so she's she's had a bad stroke. So we need to keep her in prayer. Not promised for a couple of days. I just made a call, uh, kind of late, but she's up in. You don't hear it. But she's no, still. she's not home. She's in the Jewish General Hospital. Yeah, in the K in the K wing. We'll probably go and see her again this week. On Tuka. Uh, did you say uh, uh, Peter's going to come? What was you going to pick up? Peter's Peter? going to, I'm going to go with him, I think, on Tuesday. Can I go? Sure. Okay. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so I say goodbye to everyone. Shabbat shalom. And whatever Thank you, you choose to do, enjoy your day and have a, have a wonderful week. Buena semana. Um, um, Shabbat Shalom, Shavuot Tov, and all that good stuff. Thank you, everybody, for joining our service. And uh, thank, thank you. You're, you're welcome. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. May God bless us and keep us. May He shine His face toward us and and uh, bring us His Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Bye, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Bye. 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 Bye.